everyone. So it's actually Wednesday the 2nd of January 2019. Ah, where'd the year go? Um, it's 4.25. I've actually been studying all day. Um, I've got a TMA due on the 10th, uh, which is a 2,200 word story, complete story, um, and a 500 word commentary on the techniques and reasonings behind the story. Um, to show what I've learnt from my study materials. So, I've been busy. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. I haven't seen you all for a while. Um, I planned on doing a lot more videos at the end of last year, but things just went, woo! Uh, as you know, I celebrated on the 21st. Um, and then, I thought we'd have time to do some videos after that, but no. <coughs> Um, turned out we had a whole bunch of game nights. It was really nice. My older son Kurt joined us for a whole bunch of game nights and as some of you know, my regular don't know, he doesn't like being on camera so I don't film when he's around. Um, so which meant I basically did no filming for the whole time. <coughs> uh, I went over my nan's, met my mum over there and we had a game night on the 27th for Thursday. <coughs> And I had a game night with my niece Neville, Neville, nephew Ruby and Aaron, and their dad Ian on the Saturday night, and then all the other nights up until including last night, um, I had game nights with my oldest and my youngest son, um, and we played card games mainly. We had the odd board games, but we played card games mainly, bennies and sevens and things like that. Um, really good time but yes yeah, so it was um, so much family time I didn't do any filming and I'm sure you lot don't mind and then I planned on filming yesterday for the new year and my body's like nope you've done too much and I basically slept the entire day I got up I think three or four I got up properly <coughs> I'd had a bath but I fell asleep in the bath um, and then got out of the bath and went back to bed uh, and then we come downstairs, had some food, and played some more card games because Duncan's back at work today, so we're making the most of it before he goes back. Um, so yeah, it's actually turned out to be quite a busy um, holiday for me instead of the completely uneventful one that we had planned, which is fine. I actually had a really good time, and it was really nice for my oldest to join us. He doesn't normally join us very often, and yeah, he joined us for most days. It was wonderful. Uh, middle one. Um, but let's just say we're not currently talking. I'll leave it at that. So I didn't see him for the whole period. But you know, you gotta teach him a lesson when they do something and he doesn't approve of my lesson and so he's no longer talking to me. But one day he will again. <coughs> Until that point I'll let him get it out of his system. Um so we'll leave it at that. So, um, those on my Instagram and my Facebook would have seen the jumper. I finished it for my mum. She loved it. Fit great. Um, I have photos, um, so I will try to insert them at the end of this. Um, but I am making her second one now that I know the size and the fit and things, so I can show you more of the jumper when I make the second one. Um, because obviously I couldn't show you much of the first one because it was a present for mum. Um, though you saw some of it, um, by the time I finished it, I hadn't, wasn't doing any more filming. Uh, the elf blanket for my nephew is finished. Um, I'm not entirely sure I actually got around to putting any photos up online of that. And I don't think I had it finished the last time I filmed. I think I was still waiting for more yarn, I think. So I will include a photo of that at the end as well. I still have that here. I haven't met up with him to give it to him. Just things that have been haywire. Um, <coughs> so I'll meet up with him one of these weekends and give it to him. Uh, so that's the only two finished objects. Oh no, sorry, I lie. Um, I started and finished another object. My twin sister Leanne uh, commissioned me to make a kind of a poncho sweater thing. You know the kind of ones that come down and then have buttons down the sides. Um, but she wanted it hooded um, for my niece Ruby. Hey Ruby! Um, 
And what I ended up going with was a cow neck that's large enough to go up over the head and it's got a thread through with giant pom-poms, she wanted giant pom-poms, Ruby did, um, on it. Um, so I have photos of her prancing around in front of my Christmas tree. Um, she was on the way at the time so I'll include all of those photos in here. Um, <laughs> She is just pulling faces and things, it's it's brilliant. She loved it, she never took it off for the whole time she was here, um, which is really nice. Uh, and I had enough left to make her some wrist warmers, but I didn't have time to make them. And very smartly she said, I know, you can make them for my birthday! Because her birthday's in February, she's actually February the 29th, bless her, she's a leap year baby. Um, so we will be doing wrist warmers for her birthday to match. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that is I'm pretty sure that's all my finished objects. Um, on the go right now, I actually only have one. I will be starting my mum's blanket this uh, blanket, my mum's jumper this week. I just didn't get a chance to yet. Um, and she's commissioned for a small kind of lap blanket to go over um, someone's legs when they're on their mobility scooter. Um, I wasn't going to take any commissions this year because I just I want to concentrate on doing what makes me happy. But as a pure by coincidence, one of the patterns I've been designing and want, before she's even seen it, my mum's asked for that. <laughs> um, so that means I actually get to complete my pattern, test my pattern and sell the object at the end. Which is brilliant! <laughs> so I will be doing that and I think that's got to be ready by April. I actually think her birthday, the person she's ordering it for, her birthday is the day before my youngest Malachi, so which puts it on the same day as my nephew Max, <coughs> who was born almost five years to the day for my youngest. Um, he wasn't due until July, maybe August. He was born at 29 weeks of the day and only because they kept him in for those few extra days pumping steroids to keep him in there. Um, Otherwise, he would have been born at 28 weeks. Um, so, yeah, I'll um, I'll get that done, and so you'll see that at some point. Um, and if it's nice enough, that will also be released as a pattern. I mean, it's a graph. It's a blanket with a graph, so it's not really a pattern. Unless I decide to write off a pattern, I don't know. Some I do like when you have the picture to follow, but you also have the written instructions. So I might do that. I don't know. Um, I'm probably not going to do that one as corner to corner though, I'm probably going to see about doing that one as single crochet. Because uh, I want to move on to doing more intricate pictures with single crochet instead of the corner to corner, which though can still do really good pictures, doesn't quite give the detail I want on some of the patterns I have coming up, hopefully. <laughs> um, so that I will probably do that that way and see um, how it turns out, we'll have to wait and see. <coughs> um, Oh, by the way, what do you think of my hair? <laughs> uh, as you know, it was blonde and green and blue and everything else dying out from the rainbow hair. Um, and we finally got around, we took all the colours I had left and we just mixed them into one. Um, because I ne needed to do something with my hair and I didn't have any money to buy any more dye. So we mixed everything that was left into one and then we just put that on. Expecting a really ugly brown, but you know, it, it would have done, I'm not fussy. But actually, I think it's come out really pretty. I don't know if you can see, it's actually got a purple sheen to it and a red sheen to it. Um, so some parts are the purple and red sheen and then my roots obviously are a much darker brown. But I like the look. I don't mind having my roots showing as a different colour than the rest of my hair. Um, I wanted to remove the blonde brown because that was getting a bit much, but this way it almost fades into a colour um, and you can see the bottom parts are lighter because we did have to put some conditioner on so we put the strongest colour at the top then we mixed in some conditioner to spread it out so it's kind of radiated down gra gra gradiated faded it's faded down there we go um so you know so that was sort of crafty because me and Duncan were just seeing how it worked out and I think it's come out all right hasn't it I like it anyway um how long this uh, lasts, I don't know. It's just the directions hair dye that I've done the rainbow stuff with. So, you know, it's, it's only a semi-permanent colour. And there was no blue or green left, um, which obviously was the colour that stuck in my hair the longest. Um, so, I don't know how long this is going to last. But, for now, we're to do. 
I'm happy with it. <laughs> so, projects I'm working on. Technically, I suppose you could say I'm working on editing a video. Um, this did arrive during the um, holiday period. Um, this is um, the little box of crochet. This one's a themed one by Toft. <coughs> um, I have filmed it. I actually filmed it on. I think it was the 31st of December. It might have been the 30th, but I think it was 31st. But I never got bound to editing it, so I need to edit and put that out. Um, whether I'll get that done today or tomorrow, I don't know. It's actually really freezing cold in here. I've had the heating on all day and it's still freezing in here. Um, so I may end up filming this, editing it and jumping out before I turn into a nice block. <laughs> uh, so that will be coming out in the next day or so, hopefully. So the only other thing I'm working on is a shawl. <coughs> I made this shawl as my first ever lace and my first ever in the round product. Um, oh, I don't know how many years ago. Many, many, many years ago. Um, and then I made some more not long after because people loved it and they had me make more. That's what started my business. <coughs> Um, so I made a bunch more for other people, but what I decided to do now, I made that in maybe a three ply, possibly a two ply, but I think maybe a three ply I made that original one in. You can see the project on my Ravelry, if you're on my Ravelry just look for Queen Anne Lace. It's far down my list of projects so I made it a long time, it's a cream coloured. Um, but this time around I'm making it with a real lace weight, one ply type lace weight. Um, which is in my fabulous bag from Randy, which is so awesome, it actually fits not only the pattern, which is an April sheet paper, and my iPad when I'm taking it out and about with me, but an entire cone of yarn. <laughs> this is how awesome that bag is. <coughs> so this, it does state on here, this yarn is... Uh, <coughs> It's by Yemon, 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 Y E O A M N yarns anyway, um, and it's a two th two slash thirty, which for those who use the thinner yarns will know what that means. Me, I just like it. <laughs> um, it, it is acrylic. Um, I think I have the label with me. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, okay. So it's. Is that? Hopefully, it's enough that you can see it. But um, so it's five hundred. Excuse me. It's a five hundred gram cone, um, hundred percent acrylic, and it's seven thousand five hundred meters of a cone. Um, and it, yeah, it's two thirty. If I can get that to focus. Okay. Can you? See that? I don't know, it's a bit bent. Sorry. First, help. We had a focus in the middle there, mate. Testing out new settings on the camera, and I'm not sure it's working. Well, anyway, hopefully you can see, but if you can't, really sorry. But yeah, 2 slash 30 HB acrylic. I have no idea what the HB stands for. I have no idea what the 230 stands for. I think it's usually because people would use it in weaving and things. And of course weaving yarns come in different measurements because of the size. But, um, if I can show you safely. This is how thin the yarn is. Can you see that? I have no idea if you can see that. There we go. So this is what I've got done so far. I'm on row row 40. I'm on row 40, and this is what I've got done so far. Um, hopefully that's focusing. I can't tell if it is because I'm looking through it. But there we go. So yeah. So it's really thin and delicate, and I love it. Um, that's the centre of it, um, and it comes out. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. This will be my, it's not my long term project, but it's a 
slow term project. Um, I will work on that for a few hours a day each day. Um, and more than that, in your eyes start going funny. <laughs> um, so I'll work on a really thin project, and I'll have a chunky project, and all different projects on the go from now on. Uh, so that pattern is the Queen Anne's lace. <coughs> uh, let's just say who it's by. Hang on. I thought it said on who it's by, but maybe it doesn't. Ah, there we go, it says here. So, it's M.M. Mario. M.M. Um, Mario, Leo, Apollo, Di Fenella, Emilia. Yeah, I just butchered that. <laughs> but, yeah. M. Mario. Um, you can find them on Ravelry, that's where I found them. Um, and this is literally just called the um, Queen Anne's Lace. I don't know if I can actually show you a picture without showing the pattern. Um. <coughs> yeah, it's not showing very well. But I haven't got my phone in here to show you my old one. Otherwise I'd show you that one. Uh, but it is coming along nicely. Uh, and it's as simple as I remembered it when I first done it. Uh, so it, it's not too bad. Most of the time every other row is a straight knit row. Every so often you get a slight pattern within that straight knit row. Say uh, knit three, you put two together or something. Um, and then the other row is the main pattern. So it's got the yarn overs and the knit twos together. That sort of stuff to give the lacy effect um, but it's really pretty I don't know what size it's going to come out so this one's more of an experiment because I'm using a much thinner yarn than I did before but the one I made before is huge um, so I'm hoping it'll come out a reasonably good size uh, but we'll have to wait and see I also have this yarn in black so I will make one in black and I have some other yarns that are similar weight of the yarn but they're not made by Yeoman or any Yeoman? Yeoman? I don't know. Um, which I have in pink and purple. Possibly in green, I can't remember. Um, I'll have a look. So I might make it in a few different colours. Uh, and then I'm going to look for some other similar style patterns. Not necessarily circle, I'll be doing... Um, wrap style and I'll be doing triangle and all sorts but I want to start moving into the more delicate side of knitting and all lace side which is what I started doing but in with bigger yarn to get myself used to it and then I kind of automatically moved on to um hats, scarves, thicker shawls all that sort of stuff and I still love all that but I always wanted to do the more delicate work and I'm determined this year to make it a priority to do the more delicate work and to do toys more because I barely knocked out any toys last year and I paid a lot of money to get them sorted and get the CE side of it all sorted so I need to start clawing the money back from that <laughs> so yeah my main focus this year will be on the more delicate side of the knitting and crochet and on the toy side of knitting and crochet and then I'm going to try to do more on my other crafts because I actually got a little sidetracked from my other crafts. I barely did any origami, barely did any quilling, um, only picked up the cross stitch at the end of last year with Jo. Um, what else? I uh, didn't do much polymer clay, mainly because I ran out. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I even picked up my bead weaving looms. And I didn't do much on the inkle looms in the end as I planned on doing. So I'm actually planning a better balance of having at least one project of each craft on the go. And then each week I will make sure that one day is set aside for each of those crafts unless I have a deadline. At which point I will concentrate on things. But at the moment the only deadline is the um, little lap blanket for my mum. Everything else will be done at a pace that suits me <coughs> especially with my study and everything as well um, I pushed myself too far last year and I'm determined not to do it again 
Um, so I will be taking things a little more easy in the sense of not trying to do so many things for other people. It's going to be for me, which is what I planned on doing last year. But I ended up doing things for other people instead. <laughs> because that tends to be what I end up doing. I never even got that jumper made for myself. So I ended up making stuff for other people. Um, which is great, because I actually love making things for other people and seeing their face when they get it. Especially my niece Ruby, she loves it. <laughs> um, but I, I need to think more about me and that's my thing. I don't make New Year's resolutions or anything, but this year is going to be my year, thinking about me, both in my craft, in my personal life, in my health, um, in everything. I'm going to stop compromising on myself to make other people happy, um, which I know sounds really selfish and really awful, but I've been doing it. I'm 38 and I've been doing it most of my life. It's time to take a step back and think about myself. I need to get my house sorted and the only way to do that is to do the things that make me feel good. So yeah, things are changing up this year. Um, <coughs> but I'm still doing my YouTube um, because that's something that actually makes me feel really good and it got sidetracked near the end of last year because I tried to do too much and had to take a step back. Um, so this year I'm making YouTube one of my slightly higher priorities on doing things. I actually plan on redoing the beginning videos I've done. Um, any of you who have watched me from the very beginning, well no I didn't used to talk on camera, I did off camera, I didn't even talk. Um, my first few videos are me teaching some basics from crocheting, knitting and it's writing on the screen. Um, which though I had a lot of good feedback from, I've decided I'm going to redo them with me speaking and hopefully explaining it in more detail um, and better filming angle, better lighting, that sort of thing. So I will be redoing all of my absolute basics on all of my crafts. Um, I didn't actually get all of them put up onto the channel because they were just so badly filmed. Um, but I will redo them so you will see a couple of repeats from my early years but done in a completely different format and hopefully much better. Um, and then I'm going to move on through the year from doing the absolute basics to doing different stitches, to do answer more difficult questions um, and just make my channel much more of the teaching channel that I originally wanted. Um, I'm still going to do these vlog style things, I love doing them and I love chatting to you all and that's never going to stop but I'm going to try to increase the tutorial side of things because the whole point of me doing this was I miss teaching people because I used to teach people to do all this before I got too ill um, and I want to get back to doing that so there will be more teaching videos coming out fingers crossed I have a new awesome tripod which you lot can't see because my camera is on it but it's freaking awesome um, it's what is it a newer um, N-E-W-W-E-R, newer, um, style 3 I think it's called, but basically it can go up way taller than a 6 foot person, it can go up to 7 foot almost, it's huge, um, though you wouldn't put it to its full extent because that would be unstable obviously, <laughs> but it can go really freaking high, even in, st in stable teams it can still go pretty high, um, it also has a bar you can pull out and fold over so I can film straight over the table whereas my previous tripod I had to have it in an angle trying to miss the legs which meant the things like the little box crochet that I filmed from above um, if the angle's not right it looks like you're watching it by looking upwards and that really annoyed me so now I can make it straight um, so you're looking properly on um, that should hopefully mean I should be able to film the hairstyle tutorials I never got around to doing because I couldn't get the angle on the tripod. This one goes much higher, it has a 3 full 60 turn um, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. So I'm going to be able to film more of the stuff that I couldn't film because I couldn't get the angle correct. I now have much more manoeuvrability to get what I want done. <coughs> I hope this is all making sense. I'm rambling a lot but I've missed you all. Um, yeah, so do 
check out the channel there will be more stuff coming soon and i would really love if people could comment down in this video or any other video um uh, questions they'd like answered um doesn't have to be craft related but craft would be help me make more videos you know is there something you want me to see try that again is there something you want to see me show you how to do or is there something you're stuck on and you're not quite understanding you want an explanation i'm so sorry um is there a craft you haven't seen that you'd like something on because some of the stuff i know more on but there are stuff that i know a little bit on that i might be able to help um I do do jewellery and beading, um, I have all my beads, but I haven't done any in ages. Um, so there might be things like that I can um, help with, and obviously I have done spinning and carding, sorting out roving and things, um, but I haven't done it in a while, so I don't know much about it, but I know some, so I might be able to answer some. Um, yeah, so there's not many things, I'm not very good at most card making as in you know making actual greeting cards so i probably can answer much on that sort of stuff um but there's a lot of things i know little bits about and some things i know a lot more about um so i'm happy to try to answer any of your questions and if i can't answer it maybe i can help you find the answer uh so please put anything you want to know down on any videos you want any questions you have if you just want to be nosy and find out more about me, feel free to ask. I mean, I'm pretty sure I tell you everything anyway. But, you know, if I haven't told you to think, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer. So, yeah. I really don't have much more to show you because even though I've had a really busy holiday, it's not actually been much craft work at all. So that's probably about it. <coughs> so, in that case, I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming along and helping me reach a thousand subscribers. Um, that was amazing and something I didn't think I was going to make by the end of the year. But thanks to Randy from Random Randy's Ramblings and Ella from No Catchy Name Crochet, who both gave me shout outs near the end of the year, it tipped me over. So thank you both so much. Go check them out if you haven't watched them before, but I'm sure most of you have. Um, but I know there's a couple of people who come through other of my more high volume um videos so if you haven't checked them out go check them out they're fabulous i will try to remember to link them down below but i may forget because we all know if i've forgotten put it in the comments and then i'll add it <laughs> so yeah there will be a thousand subscriber giveaway uh but not until next month because i'm broke <laughs> You know, this time of the year, everyone's broke, so I don't have enough money um, in my budget right now to do the giveaway. So I will be doing the giveaway, but it will be done next month when I have a bit more money. Um, so I hope you don't mind waiting. Uh, at the moment, it's probably going to be another pattern giveaway, as in on Ravelry, you choose the pattern up to the value of £10 um, or equivalent for your money. And I will buy that. But I know not everyone's here from... The yarn craft so not everyone's going to want that so if the winner happens to be someone who's here for diamond painting or um origami or quilling or something we will work out another prize for you whether that's an amazon voucher for 10 pound or whatever is needed to get you your prize so you don't have to just be a yarny person to enter but you will need to be subscribed and i will be doing the same way i did on my 500 swipe giveaway and you will need to go to the site that I use because that can check that you're subscribed and <laughs> I know a lot of you watch me who aren't subscribed but the giveaways are thank yous for my subscribers so only those who are subscribed to me are eligible to enter and this is the best way I find and also it leads to less um, scams because the person who gets chosen to win, I will already have their contact details so I can contact them instead of somebody contacting me claiming they're them when they're not, which I know has happened to a couple of you um, and I think it's awful. Um, so I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> so yeah, that will come in February and there will be more details about what you have to do to enter. Um, it's purely going to be something like, you know, prove that you're subscribed and leave a comment or something. It's not going to be anything spectacular. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out for that um, around the end of February, not the end of February, end of January, beginning of February, um, after my payday. <laughs>
So, I will see you all. You know what? I don't know when I'll see you all. It depends how my study goes. Uh, maybe I'll get time to show you if I've started something new today or whether I've done any more on this. Um, tomorrow I might... Hey, I don't know how much you just saw then because the camera cut off because of the filming time limit. Wow, I've talked too much. Um, so I think it probably cut off just when I was saying that I'll see you all at some point. I don't know. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly in the next day. I don't know. We'll have to see what I've got to show you because um, I want to be able to show you stuff <laughs> so I will see you all soon and thank you all to my wonderful subscribers you are amazing fabulous people and I love that you come back and see my rambling brainfield muddled silliness that often comes with me because <laughs> my brain likes to go off on random tangents uh, but check back soon uh, and we will take care, have a fabulous time, hope you all recovered from your holidays and the work has not been too boring going back to the non-fun things in life. <laughs> you all take care, bye! Hang in quickly, I forgot to say at the end of that. Um, I'm going to include a picture on the end which is a close-up of something, just for a bit of fun, see if you can guess what it is. <laughs> no prize, just a bit of fun, it's not particularly a good picture either, but I figured it would be a little bit of interesting thing for the end of my videos so hopefully touch wood I remember to put a strange picture at the end of all my videos for you to guess what it is so you take care bye